why why is it that we're not getting along and how is it that how is it that we can coalesce when there is no longer a monoculture when we're hearing so many different things when we're being pushed apart like where do we find that common ground um and one of the big things um that i've been pushing through the uh, unity movement and uh, something I had an article on a few weeks ago was, hey, maybe there's really something here in terms of looking back at Unite America. Unite America was, and I, I feel like I haven't really introduced the uh, organization much, so I should talk a little about them. Um, Unite America was a push for independent candidates to gain electoral ground which with the end goal so they were pushing for state senates in very closely divided states and they were pushing for the senate itself on uh, the national level and the idea of this is it's the fulcrum if you have a a coalition in the center or a group in the center that doesn't belong to either party, that is large enough to deny either party a majority, then even, you know, you don't have to have 30 members of a 100-seat legislative body yourself. If it's 10 members, that's enough to do it, you wield a tremendous amount of power. You become the swing voter, and you get to control a lot of what's going to be able to pass. And not only... Um, not only does that fight against single party domination, you can counteract gridlock with that. You can sort of uh, force through a lot of more positive stuff. You can make more compromise happen. Uh, you can just make the whole thing much more positive, and that's how you actually make a difference. Now.